Alright, and in this video I'm going to show you how to restore from a time machine backup. Now, just say you got a brand new Mac or you've got your MacBook repaired from the Apple Store, you're going to be presented with this new Mac OS setup screen. If you go through the screens and you go to the transfer information to this Mac, you'll see that it has an option from transferring from a Mac time machine backup. However, using this option won't actually restore your old time machine backup. It will only copy some of the files it thinks you need onto your new system. The reason why it does this is to make sure you're using the latest Mac OS that's compatible with your new system. For example, if you're restoring from an old Mac onto the latest MacBook Pro 2018, for example, you won't want all the cruft that you had on your old time machine backup. However, doing it this way, again, you lose lots of files that you may need. For example, your mail, specific app settings, all that kind of stuff. So if you're in the case where you know what you're doing, just say you had your MacBook repaired at the Apple Store and they, and they flushed out your system with a new Mac OS, what you need to do is follow this method. So firstly, you need to restart in safe mode. To do this from this screen, you actually need to turn off your Mac and turn it back on again. But this time, hold the Command and R keys at the same time. And then wait. That launches safe mode. Once loaded, select the Restore from Time Machine Backup option and that will access your time machine backup and restore it as a fresh carbon copy. If you are restoring from a network access drive, make sure to turn on Wi-Fi or have the cable plugged in. In the select a backup source screen, you should see all your restoration devices. If you do run into any issues restoring from a NAS drive, what I tend to do is restart it as sometimes it has older cache connections still active, which may block you from accessing the drive. All right, and then just select the latest one. That's it, it's clear sailing from here. It's just a little bit slow. For me, restoring a one terabyte backup takes between four hours to a day and a half, depending on if I'm restoring from an SSD drive or over the network. Of course, I'm using Ethernet and an older NAS drive, so your mileage may vary. However, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below and enjoy your fully restored Mac experience.